There are still three spots remaining at this year's World Cup. One of the spots is in Group B, where either Ukraine or Scotland will face Wales to book their ticket to Qatar. Then there's an open spot in Group D, where either Australia, UAE, or Peru will get. And then finally, there's one spot left in Group E, where either Costa Rica or New Zealand will get their place in Qatar. So today, I'll be giving you my predictions on who I think is going to qualify for the remaining spots at this year's World Cup. So make sure you stay until the end of the video to see my entire predictions. Real quick though, remember to subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell. It'll help me a lot. And also remember to hit the like button. Let's try reaching 250 likes this video. The first match of the European qualifiers is actually going to be between Ukraine and Scotland. This match was actually supposed to happen in March. However, with all the conflict that Ukraine is going through right now, the game got postponed until June. Not only that, the winner of this game will have to face Wales in the final to see who is going to book their place at the World Cup. So let's talk about these countries for a little bit. Ukraine, Scotland, and Wales have not qualified for the World Cup in a long, long time. In fact, Scotland and Wales have not qualified for the World Cup this century, while Ukraine have qualifying in 2006. And also, speaking of Ukraine, I don't really know what to expect from them. This is because the Ukrainian league has been postponed for some time now, so it's really up in the air what the Ukrainian national team players who play in Ukraine are going to be like. They're probably not match fit right now, and maybe they can't even play a 90 minute game. Regardless, there's some really good Ukrainian players out there still, like Yaremchuk, Yarmolenko, and Man City Zinchenko. However, they have to go against Scotland, who have the best left back in the world, Andrew Robertson. Not only that, Scotland have other quality players like McGinn from Aston Villa, McTominay from Manchester United, and of course, Che Adams from Southampton. And fun fact, they're the only team in the World Cup qualifying group that actually beat Denver. Denmark. Denmark were about to have a 100% record throughout World Cup qualifying, however Scotland beat them on the last match day to make sure that doesn't happen. And with this win, they finished second place in their World Cup qualifying group, only finishing 4 points behind Denmark. So who's going to win this game between these two countries? I think it's going to be Scotland. I think this is going to be a really close game between Scotland and Ukraine, and I think it's going to go all the way to penalties. However, just like Scotland did to Serbia in the Euro 2020 qualifiers, I think they're going to beat Ukraine on pens. They've been in these high pressure situations before, and I think Scotland will do the job. So I think the final is going to be between Scotland and Wales and let me just keep this short and simple for you guys. I think Wales are going to qualify for their first World Cup since 1958 and a large reason for this is because I think Gareth Bale is a man on a mission. Although yes, Gareth Bale does not care about playing for Real Madrid but when he plays for Wales it's a completely different story. I mean after all, Wales go for Madrid in that order. But not for real though, in the World Cup qualifying semi-finals against Austria, he single-handedly took Wales all the way to the finals after scoring two goals against Austria. And that first goal, mwah, what a beautiful goal that was, super sensational by Gareth Bale. And also this game is going to be at home in Cardiff and Wales have a really good home record so I don't think that's going to be beaten by Scotland. Therefore I think Wales is going to beat Scotland 2-1 and I think Gareth Bale is going to bag both of the goals. Now let's swiftly move on to the next match which is going to be between Costa Rica and New Zealand. Now New Zealand are the kings of Oceania but let's be real that's not really saying much. They have a pretty good striker though named Chris Wood who is now playing for Newcastle from Burnley and not only that he's already a New Zealand legend because he's already bagged 33 goals for his country and they also have ex Bayern Munich talent Sarpreet Singh who is also of Indian ethnicity just like I am so I have a really soft spot for him. However, let's be real, I don't think this is going to be enough for New Zealand to qualify against Costa Rica. Not only that, Costa Rica still have a world-class keeper in Kaylor Navas between the sticks. And no offense to Chris Wood, but I don't think he's going to bag a single goal against Costa Rica because Kaylor Navas has played for Real Madrid and PSG, while Chris Wood has played for Newcastle and Burnley. There's levels to this. But yeah, with all due respect to New Zealand, I think Costa Rica is going to keep a clean sheet and win this game 2-0. Now, we got one more spot remaining, which is going to be between Peru, Australia, and United Arab Emirates. But first, Australia and UAE had to face each other to see who's going to face Peru to see who's going to qualify for the World Cup. Now, both Australia and United Arab Emirates finished third in their World Cup qualifying groups in the Asian qualifiers. Australia actually finished behind Saudi Arabia and Japan by a decent amount, but only just beat out Oman by one point. And then we got United Arab Emirates, who fell short to Iran and South Korea, who are probably the two best teams in Asia. Not only that, United Arab Emirates have the top goal scorer in all of Asian qualifying in Ali Makbut, who has 14 goals. So United Arab Emirates has someone on fire like that, who is balling out for his country. However, Australia, I can't say the same for them. In fact, throughout the entirety of Asian World Cup qualifying, Australia have not been that convincing. And that's why I'm going to have to go with an upset here. I think United Arab Emirates is actually going to beat Australia 1-0 with Ali Makbut scoring the goal to win the game. And now the UAE is going to face Peru for that last World Cup spot. And that is also where the UAE's journey to the World Cup ends. Because to be honest, regardless whether it is Australia or the United Arab Emirates, I don't think either of these teams are going to beat Peru. I think Peru is just a better national team than both of these countries. They got fifth in the Copa Bowl qualifiers, beating out the likes of Chile and Colombia and only finished two points behind fourth place Ecuador. And although Peru might not have the legendary striker Guerrero anymore, they still have more than enough quality on the squad to get the job done and go to Qatar. Comabolt is an extremely hard region to qualify from, so seeing that Peru got fifth place is extremely impressive. 
5th. And in fact, in the Coma Bowl qualifying, they have faced way harder teams than UAE. So in my opinion, I think UAE is going to be a cakewalk for Peru. And that's why I think Peru is going to beat UAE 3-1 to qualify for the World Cup. So in summary, I think Wales, Costa Rica, and Peru are going to qualify for the last remaining spots at this year's World Cup. So that's my predictions. Let me know your own predictions in the comments down below. I would love to read what you guys think. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and peace.